What's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the GoRail TEP70. Now this is a diesel passenger locomotive, and it's operated in Estonia, and it's commissioned by Evo1800, who is right here for the video. And yeah, uh, thanks to Evo for commissioning this build, and let's get started. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take um, Polish Andesite, I believe, yeah, and then have a 2 by three in the middle have the top side stick out like this then the front we want to have uh, stone brick stairs like this in the middle and the outer edge just trying to curve it like this and upside down in the bottom corners then we're going to take stone brick slab just add a double one right here and a single one for the coupling and then acacia wood slab alongside this top section then we're going to work on the middle. The bottom, we're going to take gray concrete, make it three blocks wide, and it's going to be 29 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, yeah, 29. And just uh, fill in the rest of it. And it should be the same thing on the other side. It's like a double. There's cabs on both sides, so it's kind of like double ended, I guess. Alright, so let's go to the other side, do the same thing. Take polished andesite, 2 by 3. Add one of the top sides. Then stone brick stairs in the middle. And curve it outwards like this and uh, some in the bottom corners and then a uh, <laughs> double stone brick slab here and a single stone brick slab like that then acacia wood slabs on the sides on top and then after that uh, let's start to work a bit more of the front so I guess we can go like a single layer of this uh, light blue concrete all around the locomotive just go across and we will have to like replace some of them but generally it's all like one big uh, stripe all right so after we do that let's go add the wheels so the wheels we're going to start off with a stone brick slab right here and I believe there's three axles in the front, so uh, each wheel they're going to be two um, hoppers long, so this is one wheel. Skip a block, another one. Skip a block, another one. And fill in the stuff in between with the stone brick slabs. And one of them afterwards, like so. And we're going to go to the other side, repeat the same thing. So it's pretty similar. Although the sides of like the hull of this is actually going to be kind of flipped around a bit, but mostly it's like the same thing on both sides. Okay, so after we finished up these uh, wheels, uh, we're going to add this section on top here. So that's going to extend all the way to the last hopper in the middle. So we're going to take stone brick slab go across to the last hopper and at the last hopper after it we're going to have an upside down stone brick stairs like this and we're going to add that to all four corners so just go along adding them shouldn't be that hard to do and here's the last corner we will also have to add a ladder system which we'll do right now so there's going to be a ladder right here for the cab door, so that's going to be the second hopper of the first wheel. So right here, we'll replace this slab with a stone brick stairs and also the one on top of it. And go to the other side, it's pretty much the same area, you just parallel, uh, put it parallelly <laughs> to the other one. Do the same thing for this ladder. 
And at the bottom of the ladder, we want to have another rung for uh, the stone brick slab right there. So we can get on. And above uh, the ladder, we're going to place an iron door. So just have four of them. Two, three, and the last one, four. Okay, so after we do that, we're going to take a beacon, place that in the middle. Bam, and then we're going to take white concrete, put that on the right side of the beacon, like right here. Go to the other side, do the same thing put it on the right side all right so then we're gonna take I uh, believe terracotta right cyan terracotta fill in the first row of it and uh, up to where the iron door is fill that in and uh, let's add three blocks I believe okay yeah let's just say three blocks after this iron door so one two three one two three go to the other side do the same thing One, two, and three. Then we're going to take uh, iron bars and add it alongside the railing. Alongside the door as a railing, I mean. Like so. Just have all four of these doors covered up. And then let's start to add this middle center pillar, the front above the beacon and black stained glass blocks on the sides in the front. And let's add another window right here, like skip a block of space between it. Do the same thing on the other side, so place the center pillar first, then the glasses, like this. Then we're going to take white, I mean, what is this, light blue concrete, add it between these windows here like so all right so after you do that let's take um, what is this like uh, another brick stairs have a row in the front like this and have a curve on the sides like that in the middle let's take uh, gray concrete I guess yeah gray concrete and let's fill this in and we're also going to extend the, the side parts like these two parts all the way to the other end and that's just so we can place our um, nether brick stairs on the sides <laughs> like it'll be way easier I think maybe you don't even need to do this step but I'm going to do it anyways just to make it easier I guess so Take another brick stairs, add in the front row, and curve it around. And then we're going to try to connect these two together with the another brick stairs on the sides. Other side, do the same thing. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and add another brick slab, like a row of three, after this one right here. Bam. Do that on the other side. And then we're going to take uh, some more nether brick stairs and add it on the sides like this. So the roof is kind of slanted upwards diagonally. And I wish I was, it was like a little bit more wider, but like this is the best you can do in Minecraft. Like I tried using blocks and it didn't really look that good. All right, so once we do that, we can uh, connect these two together. So connect them. Then we're gonna fill in uh, this whole part with the great concrete continuing <laughs> the roof and then we'll have like one thing that sticks out right there but I, I guess we'll do that later since we don't really have the center of it so let's add the center so we're going to take uh, this light gray concrete 
and it's stone slab. So we're going to take light gray concrete and add a section of four after this upside down stone brick stairs. So one, two, three, four, skip a block, one, two, three, four, like that. And then stone slab right underneath the light gray concrete. And we're also going to replace this middle section with light gray concrete as well with a stone slab underneath and one on top of there. So repeat the same thing. One, two, three, four. Skip block. One, two, three, four. Stone slab underneath. Then replace this middle section with light gray concrete and a stone slab like so. And also one on the top. All right, so then we're gonna take light blue wool and add uh, six blocks here after this iron door. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. And then we're gonna take light blue concrete and place it after it. Then bedrock block. Then another light blue concrete. Then two bedrocks. You know what? I'm gonna just do one side at a time right now. So two bedrocks, then quartz, two bedrocks. So two bedrocks, quartz, and two bedrocks. And then light blue concrete again, and uh, two bedrocks again. And just try to copy it, make sure both sides are the same thing and have uh, light blue concrete and two bedrocks. And then fill in the rest with uh, light blue concrete. And that should be the top section. All right, so after you do that, let's go in the middle, fill that in. You can see this is clearly the middle, so we just put a light concrete, light blue concrete block in the middle, add doors, I mean windows to the sides of it. In the middle here, add a quartz block. And also we want quartz pillars on the side. This is gonna be part of their logo. It says go in the middle. So we're gonna add that. And this is, I think this might be like the only difference between these two sides is where this logo, I mean this, uh, the words that say transit go and we replace it on the side. Or maybe it says rail on it, I could be wrong. But yeah, that's. I think that might be the only difference between these two sides. So that's gonna be on the right side of the logo. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and take a gray terracotta, no, sand terracotta. Add two blocks here. While on the other side, we just add one block. And we'll skip this block here and add two. So we're going to be left with two of these holes and just fill it in with black stained glass block. Like so. And the other side, we're going to go ahead and add cyan terracotta here. Then a window. Other side is two terracottas and then a window. And just fill in the rest with gray, I mean cyan terracotta. I don't know why I'm saying that right now, but I am. And uh, let's add this little detail on top. And we're going to go ahead and line it up with this bedrock and this uh, quartz. Bam, and the rooftop, just a stone brick slab like so. All right, so we're going to add a little more detail to the front of the cab. We're going to add uh, signs on the sides, like the outer edges and the inner edges. We're going to add uh, stone buttons like this for some lighting. Let's go to the other side. Do the same thing. So signs on the outer edges. If we could place it down. And stone buttons on the inner part. All right, so one last detail. Let's add a side view mirror on the sides of this uh, light blue concrete block. Like so. And yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to bake the Go Rail TEP70. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks again for Evo 1800 for commissioning this build. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.